fellow synesthesias, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is classic movie Thursdays here, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's classic movie I have chosen to review is one of my all-time favorites and one of the most absolutely perfect films ever created, Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator. So there's two aspects of this movie. You have one that is about a Jewish barber played by Charlie Chaplin, and then you have one that is about a dictator also played by Charlie Chaplin. This movie takes place in a fake country called Tomania, and the Jewish barber had fought for Tomania during the Great War, World War I, and he got hurt while saving this captain's life and he had amnesia. He didn't remember the past decades that went by after the war. He was in a hospital, so he had no idea that the dictator, Adenoid Hinkel, was imposing all these horrible laws and rules against the Jewish people of Tamania. So he escapes from his asylum where he was kept for all those years and he goes back to his barber shop that was in this little courtyard and he just thinks he's been away for a few weeks. He has no idea all these years have passed and he defies the stormtroopers that come around and like you know he has no idea who these people are so he starts messing with them and he's like who are you who's Tinkle and you know what's going on but he's saved by this girl named Hannah played by Paula Goddard and then it goes back and forth between the stories of Adenoid Hinkle and the Jewish barber. Uh, the barber actually like kind of regains his memory after he sees the captain or commander Schultz as his name is and he's like, oh my goodness, everything's changed so much. He sees what's going on. And he resumes life in as normal a way as possible. Now, Hinkle wants to invade this land called Osterlich, but the dictator of a country called Bacteria is Napoloni, who is supposed to be like Mussolini. I mean, it's like perfect. Jack Oakey plays him and I mean the two of them together it's just like one silly thing after another they start fighting silly fighting with food and it's just that whole situation is really silly and then he decides to invade Austerlitz and then you know it's like the dark period the ghettos raided and actually the barber and Commander Schultz are taken to a concentration camp and Hannah and uh, some of the people that she was living with in the courtyard managed to get out to Austerlitz but you know that's invaded and they're almost caught. The ending is actually really really good because Hinkle winds up leaving so that he won't be responsible so that it'll look like it was his second in command's fault instead of his fault so he was on like a duck hunt and uh, he's actually caught because he looks like the Jewish barber and then the Jewish barber and Commander Schultz have escaped the camp and dressed in the clothing of the regime that's in place. So, you know, obviously he looks like Henkel and he's brought to make a speech in front of millions of people and Charlie Chaplin like broke character and gave this incredibly empowering moving speech about humanity and how everybody should all unite. It's a speech that I, every time I see, I just, I feel something. I feel so impassioned and just so moved. Like you can see that it meant so much to him as he's giving this speech. One part of his speech that I absolutely love is when he said, only the unloved hate. That's like one of my favorite quotes from a movie ever and there's just so many good aspects of this speech and so many that apply today. It's almost scary how maybe nothing's changed. Maybe the world's, you know, we still have our dictators hiding in democracy and we need all need to go listen to that speech. I'll link it down below so that you guys can go watch it because you definitely have to check that out. Charlie Chaplin is a complete genius. 
the man just knew how to make great films. This was actually his first talking movie. This was the first time his character of the Tramp spoke. He basically said goodbye to the Tramp in this. And he was wonderful. I loved hearing his voice. Like, I think I had seen some of his silent movies before this, maybe like one or two. But then I watched this, I'm like, oh my god, he has such a great speaking voice. And, you know, it was time for him to speak, and it was a good time for the Tramp to speak. I think everybody needed to hear the Tramp speak, even though, unfortunately, this movie did not do well when it came out in 1940. A lot of people were very upset with it. But it's just, it's genius looking back on it, you know, back on that time and when this came out. Charlie Chaplin was great. He was quoted as saying if he had known the atrocities that Hitler was doing to the Jews and to Germany, he never ever would have made this film and never ever would have made fun of Hitler and Mussolini the way that he did. But it is a really good satire of a dictator, you know? Like, it's just so ridiculous how their minds worked and like their system you know it's just they were so power hungry and it just really made light if that could be said of it i mean dictatorship is terrible and and what hitler did to germany and the jews is completely awful but it just sheds light on how ridiculous the whole situation was how really demented and stupid that all was and you can tell he really felt for this project that it was really near and, and dear to him to make a film like this i give him so much credit he was great and there's so many scenes in this too that are very moving besides the speech and like kind of haunting there was a scene where hinkle had given the command to burn the ghetto and while the ghetto burned he sat and played on his piano in the dark and it's so like almost terrifying it's like when Nero sat and watched Rome burn he didn't do anything and you know that's what Hinkle did that he sat on his piano and played his piano and you know Charlie Chaplin really had that way with all of his movies of making you feel something and that's exactly what he did here. I said that a million times but I can't say it anymore because he's great. He's just such a genius, Charlie Chaplin. Paula Goddard is absolutely wonderful. She's so fabulous. I love her as an actress. She's such a tough cookie. I've seen so many films with Paula Goddard in it now after I had seen her in The Women and this movie and uh, Modern Times and to me this is just my favorite role that she's ever done. You know, she's a tough cookie as Hannah. She gives him some attitude. She bangs the stormtrooper over the head and it's like her New Yorkiness just kind of comes out of her and because she was from New York, Paula Goddard, and it, you know, the tough New York attitude comes out in her. And the ending, oh my god, her last scene in this was like just so powerful and it's just some of her best acting. She was not a bad actress in any way, I'm not saying that, but this was just such a great role for her. Charlie Chaplin got so much out of her. She was so sweet, she was so tough, she was so endearing. She's like the kind of person I think we all should aspire to be. She's absent-minded a little bit. She even says it in the movie and she's loving and sweet and you know, she just, she loves the barber. She came to love the barber because he is a nice man in this chaos. And I, I can't say anything more about Paula Goddard in this movie. Just, she's so freaking wonderful. I love her. So that was my rambling slash review of The Great Dictator. I hope you got something out of this. And if you liked it in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below so we can further discuss anything Charlie Chaplin, anything Paula Goddard, anything of The Great Dictator. And also, please leave your movie suggestions down below in the comments so that I know what you guys want me to watch. And if I pick the movie that you suggested, I will give you a shout out too. And 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future classic movie Thursdays and other movie reviews because that is what I like to do here. I review movies of all kinds. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.